Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to show you a couple of ways to get your guitar wide in the stereo field. Now, we all are so used to hearing hard pan double track guitars whenever we listen to music, especially in headphones. Since I use in-ear monitors when playing live, I wanted to replicate it. I don't want my guitar in the center fighting with other instruments like drums or bass. So let me show you a couple of ways of approaching that. So let's start by having a look at the preset, which is a stripped down version of my live sound. I have a basic rhythm channel here with two IRs, which sounds like this. Now, as I mentioned, I used two IRs and I would start by panning them left and right 100% and also bumping the proximity on both but to a slightly different values, this will make them react a bit differently. Now how to get the guitar wide? The first method uses a simple delay trick. You have to insert a delay block parallel to your signal, set it to a simple digital mono delay, use 8 or 9 milliseconds of time set the feedback to 0% and mix to 100%. Then balance it with the original signal using the level knob. After that you place a mixer block and you just pound these two rows to 100% left and right. And this one sounds like this. It sounds pretty nice, but since I want to make the most of my life patch in the FM3, sacrificing CPU for two additional blocks isn't optimum for me. Ok, so on to the second method. This one uses a pitch block. These are settings that recreate a TC Mimic pedal. You can find them in the Petrucci Rig factory preset number 82. Basically what it does, it adds two additional voices to your tone, which are hard pond and detuned. LFOs are then used to dynamically change the detune value and level of the added voices. It sounds like this. This method is, to be honest, not my favorite because it sounds like it's adding some almost room-like reverb without getting the guitar wide. I also need my pitch block for other stuff in the FM3, that's why I avoid using this one. So the way I get my guitar wide is by simply using the enhancer block. It's set to a classic mode and 100% of width, which to my surprise worked really well. Um, it is the most CPU efficient way and to me sounds the best. With the way the cabs are set up, um, the bumped proximity, um, there's no really any phase issues and the guitars are really, really wide. Now, uh, this one sounds like this. Now, if you want some extra juice from it, you can add some subtle chorus. You can see the settings here, and we get this.
You can also get Ultra Petrucci by choosing some more obvious chorus, like a dim Dimension one. Again, really cool wide sound with the use of only an enhancer block. I hope this was helpful, let me know what you think, take care and keep rocking.